Last baseball season from May to late September, I made $9,800. Off season, you're on your own. Part-time seasonal intern. Anybody that becomes a minor league baseball player signs the uniform player contract. And they're all seven years. They decide where you go. They decide what level you're at to start a given year. And they have pretty much full control. The pay is non-negotiable. Everybody thinks about it as you get paid per month and you get six months if you're in a full season team. You're making anywhere from $6,000 for a season to $15,000 for a season if you're in AAA. Minor league camp report is usually first week of March. You are there all day, every day. You don't have opportunities to go do anything else to make money. It's pretty much full work day for two months where you're not getting paid. I think spring training is more difficult than the season. You know, strenuous on your body and just the workload is, is more. I believe, you know, minor leaguers are more entitled to get paid during spring training than even in the regular season just because of the workload, to be honest. A lot of people overlook that, that minor league baseball players aren't students. We're not in school. We have adult expenses, whether that be rent, you know, car, insurance, you know, whatever else. A lot of players, myself included, have, have children. I have a three-year-old daughter, so $9,000 a year. It's kind of tough to support yourself. You have professional athletes, you know, the top 1% of baseball players in the world that are driving Uber and delivering food and, you know, working at Walmart, you know, overnight when the off season you're supposed to be training to better yourself for the next season. I've been a strength conditioning coach in the off season. I've done lessons. I've gotten into woodworking and built chairs and sold them on Facebook. I've given lessons. I, I coach you know, youth teams back home and I've delivered food like Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, stuff like that just to, you know, make a couple dollars here and there and get ready to go uh, spend a month where I don't have any income at all. The problem with getting a job is a lot of places won't hire you because you're only home for, you know, four or five months out of the year and you have to be straight up in the interview process that, hey, I'm, I'm not going to be here. So my housing last year, I was living in a townhome garage. So I was on the bottom level living in a garage. It was like 85 square feet, no, no heat, no air in it. Fast forward to this year, the Diamondbacks did an outstanding job. They put all of us up in, in apartments, furnished, Wi-Fi you know, own bedrooms. It's up to each team. They can, they can make it better for their guys if they wanted to. And teams that are doing it should be commended. And the teams that are continuing not to do it with the writing on the wall, they should, they should be called out. I think this is the first time that minor leaguers have actually, you know, gotten together and started to create a voice for ourselves. And I think it's huge. I would like to see guys make a livable salary. And I want to see, I'd like to see guys make that throughout the year. I mean, I don't think it's too much to ask for the top 2% of professional baseball players to be able to be paid year round. The fact that players have to put the bat and glove down because they don't get paid enough is, is sick. Nobody thinks the minor leaguers are, are supposed to get paid millions of dollars in the minor leagues. That's why we're in the minor leagues. You know, we're here to develop and get better and hopefully one day, you know, you're good enough to play in the big leagues and that's, that's where you get paid like that. It's a big money industry. I mean, it's, it's there. And so to have an ugly side of it where you have guys that can't you know, see their wives all year because they can't afford to have them out. Like that just doesn't add up. Just because the season is half the year doesn't mean that our job stops the other half. Getting compensated for us doing our job is what I think we want to see.